Hi all, and in today's session we'll be looking on a topic called remote people. So let's start with my introduction. I'm Amit Kujarathi. I work as a senior service now developer at Cognizant. I have experience of seven plus years in service now development, and I'm a service now MVP for 2022. So the agenda of today's session. So the agenda of this session is to understand what is remote table, different components of remote table, how remote table works, external data lifecycle for the remote table, okay, use case for remote table, and then we will look into the demo for the same. So let's try to understand first what is remote table. Remote table. So remote table connects the now platform to third party sources or to another instance so that you can retrieve external data and optionally catch it into memory without storing it into an instance. So you can view external data in the list of form and process, process that particular data like you did from using Glide scripts and all. But that particular data will not be present on your system. That particular data will be, you can say, virtually mapped to your system. So you can see it on the forms and list view. You can also group, sort, aggregate, and filter that data just like you did for the standard internet tables. Okay. Now let's look into the different components for remote tables. So remote tables has two main components using which we can build an external data framework. So the first entity is remote tables. So what are remote tables? So remote tables are used to describe the schema for the data that you have retrieved from an external source. The data definition in is in the service now instance, but its rows or we can call it as or external records lives in the memory. So just like we create standard table, you can create remote tables. You define columns and control the designated application access for it, just like you did for no any other internal table. But unlike internet table, a remote table does not get its record from the now platform database. So in it went to say the data is not residing on the now platform. It gets its record from running an associated script okay, against an external data source. So what it will do, it will run a script. Using that script, uh, it will pull the data from an external source. Maybe it's another instance or maybe any other external source. And it will showcase that data in that particular table. Now, how exactly this script gets executed and how exactly we can define this script. So this is a second component in our list, which is script definition. So you, what is script definition? So you can create and associate a script definition with a remote table, okay? The external data that you have retrieved using the script can be cached into a memory. You can also designate how this data is cached and how for how long you want to cache this data into a memory, okay? Every time you refresh a list that contains this external data from a remote table, the associate script definition, what you have defined, will run for that table, will run again, and you will get the refresh set of data. So you can call it as a session, but till the time you are there on the form or till the time you are there on the list view, you will get that data. Once you refresh the list, you will, you will get the refresh data on the system. So let's understand how this remote table works. So the remote of remote table is pretty simple. So by using a remote table, you can retrieve the, the data from external sources or from any other instance with REST or SOAP services. So you can have the integration between service now instance and any external sources using either REST services or, or SOAP services. It doesn't matter which one you use. The external data lives in the memory in the read-only mode because, as I stated before, this data is not stored on service now instance, right? So it will be in a read-only mode, okay? Which makes the temp that temporary or transient with the now platform within the now platform. You can then view and manipulate the external data without importing or sorting it, okay? You can view the external data in the list or form in the same way you you can view the internally sorted data. Also, you can manipulate this data using standard Glide record queries, business rules, remote APIs, scripting, table reference fields, services, 
and development tools in the now platform so you can consider the data uh, do all kind of operations on that just the matter of fact is like this particular data is not stored on the service now yet now let's first understand how the external now as we mentioned that this data is not residing on the now platform then there should be some external live data life cycle right around this data so in this particular slide we will understand how this external data life cycle works okay in the now platform so the data you retrieve from an external source has a finite duration or we can call it a or finite life cycle within the now platform when you run script that is associated with the remote table the retrieved data lives in the memory as long as you as long as the list of form appears after you close the list of form that external data is purged out of memory okay the next time that you use the view or views the external data in the remote table gets repopulated from the external source so whenever you refresh the data you close reopen it will always trigger the script again and it will give you the refreshed data however if you have defined caching parameter for the script right there is the attribute called caching parameter for the script then the external data remains in cache memory for the specified caching duration so for example if you have designated that the external data should be cached for 300 seconds so it will remain in the cache cache memory in for 5 minutes so if you refresh your form as many times as you want in that 5 minutes that you will see the same data same post data after that time expires the cache data will is purged out of your memory okay and the next time that you use the view or view the external data in the remote table the cache is refreshed from the external system i think it's pretty simple to understand how exactly the remote table works now let's understand what now we understood okay what is remote table how exactly it works and everything but now most of the people will be having a question what is the practically application of this remote table right where exactly we can use this remote table so the answer for this is like you can set up and use remote table in your enterprise when you want to fetch an external data for temporary use without storing it on the now platform Okay, so when you don't want to store the data on the now platform, you can use this uh, extra remote table scenario. So, for example, if you want to ask, you can create a remote table that fetches weather-related information. Okay, just giving a uh, just giving one example. So, we can fetch a weather-related information that appears on your home page whenever the user logs. So you would then create the associated script definition that retrieves this data from the third party weather source okay that is based on the user location now you you want to retrieve this detailed customer details that are sorted in the external customer relationship table that is also one thing if you consider first example right with the weather now you want to show the weather forecast for that particular location but you don't want to store it on the service now instead because it doesn't add any value to your system right or to your application so in this kind of scenarios you can use the remote table i hope it's pretty clear so there may be n number of scenarios i have encountered where where i where i need some data but i don't want to store it on the service now instead in all those cases you can use the remote table now let's jump into the demo to understand more in detail about the implementation of the same 